Hard Cartel. Hey man, Jason Bopp here for another Hard Cartel workout today. Today we're doing legs, and to start off we're doing leg press here, right? Uh, it's a really good movement because unlike squats or deadlifts where you are using a lot of stability and core, this is going to allow you to really just power off, sit tight in that seat and just use all that leg muscle you can, right? So uh, still start off light, we don't want you hurting yourself or getting too deep, but uh, the main important here thing is to get deep, right? A lot of guys only go half range of motion, so you're not targeting that with those glutes and hams like they could. So get on there, start light, right? You want to do a warm up set with maybe one plate on there. And get a good stretch on today because legs, you know, there's a ton of muscles in them and you need them to be warm and ready to run. So set those up, get comfortable in there again. You still want the athletic stance as much as you're kind of laying back now, your chest up, shoulder blades back all the whole time, and keep locked in there, right? Get about as wide as you can on there. Some uh, all stands are a little bit different, but go as wide as you can on there, as far up as possible too. So you have a nice wide stance, push up. You never want to lock your legs out completely on that, that's bad for your joints, so always just come up to about there. And then you're coming down, deep, get that stretch on, extend out, deep, get that extension, right? And give it a shoot. Make sure you get deep so you really get those things, all right? And that's the reason you want to as far up as possible, because you want to keep your knees behind your toes as much as possible, okay? So get deep, power those off, really flex those muscles at the top, come deep, and power them up. All right? Now, as soon as you've done those, I know you're going to be exhausted, but that's one of the supersets here. Grab a plate, all right? I'm going to do 45, but you can start with the 25 just to get the hang of it. It's very similar to kettlebell swings, all right? So what you do is, again, you're standing here, get a wide stance, wider than shoulder, shoulder width, because, again, you want to go get deep, and explode up, right? And come down. So you see the movement is very similar to the kettlebell. You don't want your body coming through much. You're keeping that stance. You're keeping athletic. Stopping it. And powering up, okay? So one more time. Right? So, we're gonna start with those. We're doing super set of those again. It's gonna be exhausting. You're gonna be drenched in sweat. But fuck, it's gonna work you good. So, three sets of those. Start with about 12 reps. Try and get 10, try and get 8. And uh, after that, we'll see you in the next exercise, all right? All right, so next up for legs, we're gonna be doing some uh, reverse leg kicks with the cable here. And then super setting those with some uh, knee tucks, right? So, that's gonna work a little bit of your core. And the reverse leg kicks are really going to work your hamstrings and your glutes, all right? Uh, in a way that, you know, again, leg curls or your average uh, hand curl machine here at the gym can't do. So, yeah, what you're going to do is uh, hopefully have these at your gym. If not, there are a couple of variations, hopefully, in a reference section. Uh, but again, you're going to get this right in your ankle here, hook on the lowest setting. And anyway, as always, athletic stance is important, right? Keep those shoulder blades back, keep that arch in your back. You're not going to be bending forward or cheating by using momentum. So again, get low, you can grab onto this, and again, you're kicking back, and holding. Forward, kicking back, and holding. And again, you want to squeeze, and you're going slow. Anyone can load it up with weight, and kick back as hard as they can, but again, you're gonna get hurt, you're not really targeting the, the muscle. You're using too much momentum, and distributing that against the whole chain of items. So, so again, and once you've done that, you're going to immediately go to the other side again. So you're super setting that with knee tucks. What you want to do is get a firm stance, athletic stance again. Knee up and down. Knee up and down. Knee up and down. As you can see, it's going to be kind of hard to keep your balance. So if you want, you can always grab onto something, hold onto the frame. That's going to allow you to kind of get a little bit more power to it. So again, you're super sitting together. Do one the other, and then again. 
Take that off, throw on your other ankle. And there you go, super set, those are doing three sets. And after you're doing that, we'll do your third and final cycle, all right? All right, here in Surua for our final leg exercise on our leg day, we're gonna finish up with just a farmer's walk. Now, if you've done these before, awesome. If not, uh, they're a great way to just really get that final kind of motion through your, uh, your hamstrings and quads and uh, your glutes and just really get that power, all right? Uh, and work your forearms as well. So what you wanna do is again, get a weight and the motion here is again, step and you're rolling. Make sure you get that kind of roll through, the roll through. I'll show you as I walk this way, all right? So you're setting and roll, stretch. So what you can do is you can just go back and forth, you can do laps around your gym, you can do whatever the fuck you want for those. And again, you're doing three sets of those, so do a lap, take a couple minutes, do another lap, take a couple minutes, do another lap, and you're done, all right? Uh, and don't forget, again, do cardio and stretch out. You know, those are as important to getting jacked as lifting weights is, and most guys don't realize that. So spend 15 minutes on a bike, an elliptical, or a treadmill, and then stretch out those muscles, all right? You'll heal faster, and you'll have... Uh, much better mobility and you'll feel fucking awesome each day. So do that and then check out Heart Cartel, get those supplements. Sign up for the newsletter if you haven't yet. You'll get all these wicked emails and videos directly on your phone. And uh, we'll see you tomorrow with an arms day to wrap up the week, all right? Thanks a lot, guys.